First example for using starting papers. So here I'm going to paint in watercolor and I'm going to show you how to use these starting papers to create a painting. So I can pick, I like a lot of them and it's really hard to decide. I like some of the strong marks in some, some of the backgrounds like that one in another, but there's no reason you can't combine both. So I'm going to combine those two. I'm going to create a painting. Now this is in watercolor, so what I do is I wet the surface first and I'm going to create just a background layer like that one or very similar to it. I just put some browns just like that background and a few blues in different areas. This is just going to be like a blocking in of color. It's not going to be complicated. What I'm going to do is just add a few marks here and just create a background. That's it. And that's the end of start number one, part one. I'll add a bit of salt to create texture like we see there right there and we'll let that dry. That's it for now. Do this step now and we'll see you in the next section. Here it is all dry. So what I'm going to do is just soften some of those edges of the dark color. I really don't like that hard edge. So I'm just going to soften that and then let it dry again. So I just take a brush, I wet the surface of the watercolor. I take a heavier, harder brush and, and rub against those edges. I'm going to add just a few more darks in the middle of that because I've faded them away quite a bit and I'm adding a bit more salt. The thing about watercolor is you often do a small step and then you let it dry. Here I'm adding alcohol. What alcohol does is creates oval shapes in the watercolor as it dries. So let it dry. Here I've let it dry already and I'm adding darks. Remember that I've speeded up this video. I let it dry again and now I'm adding lights. I'm spattering with some white paint. Every step you see here probably took over a half hour. And I've speeded up the video so you can see it faster and you know what the steps are and you know that there are multiple steps and it's not just one big flash of one or two steps. It's like 20 steps and you let it dry in between every step. So every evening when you have time, you can do a step, come back the next day, do another step like this one. And this I like more because there's a high contrast area. There's a light like it against a dark dark. And now I'm going to just frame it. See what it would look like framed. And I think it would look better smaller. We could see the focal point a little better. That dark spot right there is a focal point and it catches our eye. You always need one thing in your painting that catches your eye. Could be a contrasting shape like this one, a light against a dark like this one, or it could be different colors. But this is a great way for you to find out what it would look like framed your painting. So this is one example of what you can do with those starting papers. Try one now, and then I'll see you in the next example.